Capacitors Capacitors are passive two-terminal electronic device. It can store an electrical charge on its plates when connected to a voltage source. The value of the capacitor is called its capacitance. Fed is the unit of capacitor. For lower values, we use microfed, nanofed, and picofed. Higher the value of capacitor, higher the charge it can store. Capacitors are of three types polarized, unpolarized, and variable value capacitors. This is the symbol of a fixed value polar capacitor, fixed value nonpolar capacitor, and it is the symbol of a variable value capacitor. Capacitor has two plates. There is a dielectric field between these two plates. When these plates are connected to the battery or voltage source, then they become charged. As we increase the voltage, charge on the capacitor's plate also increase. Charge is directly proportional to the voltage. And capacitance is the proportionality constant. So, the charge collected on the capacitor's plates, by applying 1 volt, is called the capacitance of any capacitor. Capacitance depends upon the area of plates, distance between two plates, type of plates and type of dielectric. On the basis of these parameters, capacitors are of three types, ceramic capacitors, film capacitors and electrolytic capacitors. When we connect the capacitors in series, then the resultant value of capacitance is decreased. To increase the capacitance, we can connect the capacitors in parallel. Value of capacitance and its working voltage is written on electrolytic capacitors. And in ceramic capacitor there is a code which gives the value of capacitor. For example, 104 means 10 multiplied by 10,000, 1 lakh picofed or 100 nanofed. Capacitors has various characteristics. These characteristics changes with the type of material used to make a capacitor. Polarization means capacitor has positive and negative terminals, or not. Nominal capacitance means the value of capacitor. Working voltage means how much voltage a capacitor can bear without getting damage. Tolerance means how much the actual value of capacitor differ than the written value. Leakage current, if we charge any capacitor but not connect it with any circuit, then capacitor will take some time to get fully discharged. This is because it's internal leakage current. Capacitor should have low leakage current. Capacitor have a upper and lower working temperature range, beyond which it can malfunction. Temperature coefficient means the change in value of capacitor with the change in temperature. Capacitors has an internal series resistance, ESR, due to which, capacitor takes some time to charge or discharge. The value of ESR should be as low as possible. This was some basic information about capacitors. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.